Hi, my name is Suba Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over math help with fractions and polynomials. So if you have a fraction or that is a polynomial, it might seem a little bit complicated. But basically, all you want to do is treat it like you would a regular fraction. So I'm going to give you a quick example of that. Say you had something that was like x minus 1 over x plus 2 minus x plus 3 all over x minus 2. Now, when dealing with this, you might see like, oh, I don't know how to combine these. These two are different. You want to use the same rules you would with regular fractions. And when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you need to change it to the lowest common denominator. Multiply something by this to make these numbers the same so you can add and subtract. And it's the same thing with polynomials. So in this case, to make those two numbers the same, just multiply through. So, and you can see here, now we have common denominators, and we can go through and simplify this expression. And of course, you would want to do that using the distributive property and treat it the exact same way we would any other fraction. So as soon as you're given a polynomial, just think about it as a fraction, it'll get a lot easier. My name is Suba Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.